Hello everyone! In this video, you will learn about circles. Specifically, how you're going to find the coordinates of the center, the length of the radius, and its standard form of equation. If you could still remember, the equation of a circle with center hk and radius r units is denoted by this equation. So the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Let's have an example. Find the standard equation of a circle satisfying the given conditions. Number 1. The center is at the origin and the radius is 7. So how are we going to find its standard equation given these conditions? So here is the solution. So we all know that the coordinates of the origin is 0, 0. And this x value or x coordinate will serve as your h. And your y coordinate will serve as your k. So it's already given that the length of the radius is equal to 7. Now, we are going to substitute these values to the given equation. So, direct substitution lamang. So, the quantity of x minus your h value, which is 0, then squared, plus the quantity of y minus your k value, which is also 0, and then squared, equals your r value, which is 7, and then squared. Then simplify so the result is x squared plus y squared is equal to 49. So why is it 49? 7 squared. So this is your standard equation of the circle. So let's have another example. The coordinates of the center are negative 5 and 4 and the length of the radius is squared of 7. So this is the solution. Your center is represented by C and these are the coordinates, negative 5 and 4. So again, your x coordinate will serve as your h value and your y coordinate which is 4 will serve as your k and r is equal to the square root of 7. So let's substitute all these values to the given equation, this one. That will become the quantity of x minus your h value, h value which is negative 5, then squared plus the quantity of y minus your k value, which is 4, and then squared, equals your r value, which is square root of 7, and then squared. Then simplify. This will become, so magiging ng positive po, negative times negative will become positive. So that is why the quantity of x plus 5 squared plus, just copy, the quantity of y minus 4 squared equals Pwede na po itong ano, simplify. Uh, which will become, what will happen to the radical symbol? So, it will be eliminated or makakancel na po natin ito. So, that's why the standard equation of the circle is denoted by this one. The quantity of x plus 5 squared plus the quantity of y minus 4, 4 squared is equal to 7. Now, what if you are just given the endpoints of the diameter? How are you going to find its standard equation? Let's take for example, a circle has a diameter with endpoints A, 5, 4, and B, negative 2, negative 6. Remember that in order for us to find its equation, we need to know first the coordinates of the center in its radius. So first, we need to find the coordinates of the center by using the midpoint formula, which is denoted by x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So let's have first the values of the variables. For x sub 1 is 5, x sub 2 is negative 2, y sub 1 is 4, and y sub 2 is negative 6. So let's have the direct substitution of, this for, of these values to the formula. That would become your x sub 1 is 5 plus y sub 2, uh, sorry, x sub 2 is negative 2 all over 2. Then y sub 1 is 4 plus your y sub 2 is negative 6 all over 2. Then simplify, it would become 3 over 2 and negative 2 over 2. 
Therefore, the coordinates of the center are 3 over 2 and negative 1. So that's for the coordinates of the center. So we have already found the coordinates of the center of the circle. So let's now find the length of its radius. Now to find the distance of the radius, we are going to use the distance formula. So later on po, ibibigay ko yung distance formula as part of your solution. So we need to identify which points we are going to consider. So definitely po, the coordinates of the center are part of the solution. And we're going to uh, choose another point on the circle. Okay po? So it's either point A or point B. Okay? So in this case, we're going to use point A. So x coordinate, your x coordinate of point A will serve as your x sub 1, this one, and 4 will serve as your y sub 1. And the coordinates of the center will serve as your x sub 2 and the y coordinate as your y sub 2. So let's proceed to the solution. So the radius is denoted by r equals using the distance formula, which is denoted by this, the square root of the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So let's substitute the values. Your x sub 2 is 3 halves minus your x sub 1, your x sub 1 is 5, and then squared plus your y sub 2 is negative 1, and then minus 4 as your value of uh, y sub 1 and then squared. So let's simplify. So the difference of 3 halves and 5 is negative 7 over 2 and then squared plus the difference of negative 1 and 4 is negative 5 and then squared. So again, let's simplify. This will become so negative 7 over 2 squared that is 49 over 4 plus negative 5 squared that is 25 and then combine. So combine these two constants, that would become square root of 149 over 4. So that is the radius. Okay, so we're, that's for the radius, which is 3 halves and negative 1. So 3 halves, 3 halves and negative 1. And the radius is equal to the square root of 149 over 4. So we can now proceed to its standard equation. So by using this formula. So again, we are just going to substitute the values of each k and r to this equation. So therefore, this would become the quantity of x minus your h, which is 3 halves, squared, plus the quantity of y minus uh, your k value, or the value of k, which is negative 1. And then squared equals the square root of 149 over 4 as your value of r, and then squared. Then simplify. That would become the quantity of x minus 3 halves squared plus the quantity of y plus 1 squared is equal to 149 over 4. So why is it 149 over 4? So pwede natin makancel po yung, yung square root sign at yung uh, squared or yung power na 2. So that is the standard equation of the circle. Okay, let's have another example. Find the center and radius of the circle with equation x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 8y minus 5 equals 0. So this is the solution. Again, we are going to use the equation of or the standard equation of the circle, which is denoted by this. Just copy the original equation as your pattern. Next. We're going to separate your terms or the terms with x uh, variable from your terms with y variable and from your uh, constant. For x terms, it will become the quantity of x squared minus 4x, then plus your y terms, so the quantity of y squared plus 8y, and your constant will be transposed. So that is y equals 5. So, bakit po naging 5? If you do a uh, transposition, uh, the, the sign of the number would also be changed. Then, the next step, we are going to make this one 
Ito po, at yan, a perfect square trinomial. So, paano nyo po gagawing perfect square trinom trinomial itong dalawa? If you are thinking about uh, completing the square or completing the squares, you get the correct answer. So, it goes like this. Just copy x squared minus 4x plus, so maglagay ka po dyan ng blank for your third term. And if you're for second group, so y squared plus 8y plus blank again, then equals 5 plus blank plus blank. So bakit meron dalawang blank ko dito? So it is because kung ano man pong value na makuha mo dito will be added to 5. Question, what is the value of the first blank? To make, uh, to make it a perfect square trinomial. So all you have to do is just divide the numerical coefficient of the middle term by 2 and the answer will be squared. So gawin natin, isa-isay natin. Negative 4 divided by 2, that is negative 2, and negative 2 squared, that is 4. Yan, kulitin ko po. Middle term, numerical coefficient po ng middle term. Ito po yung middle term. So, negative 4 divided by 2, that is negative 2. And negative 2 squared, that is 4. Lagi ba, na, kung ang tanong nyo po ay lagi-lagi po bang, or lagi po bang uh, divided by 2, tapos yung sagot is squared, opo. So, ganun po yung proseso ng completing the square. Okay, so for the second group, that is 16. So why is it 16? So 8 divided by 2, that is 4, and 4 squared, that is 16. Then, 5 plus, yung nilagay mo dito number, which is 4, and then 16. So 5 uh, plus 4 plus 16. And then the next step, Kunin na natin yung factored form ng dalawang perfect square trinomial. So, ang factored form po nito ay ito po. So, the quantity of x minus 2 squared. So, how did we get this one? Madali lang po yan. Kunin nyo lang po yung square root ng x squared, which is x. Yung minus po, galing po ito dito. Kung ano man po yung sign yung middle term, yun din po yung sign ng uh, nandito. Yung 2 naman ay galing po dito. So, square root of 4, that's 2. And then, squared. Yung squared ba, saan galing? It's always, yan dyan po. Then, plus, yung factor and form po nitong uh, second group, or second perfect square trinomial, ay ito po. So, the square of y squared is y. And since positive po dito, it's also positive. And square of 16 is 4. Equals 25. So, this will be your uh, standard equation of the circle. Pero ang tanong po, you are asked to find the center and the radius of the circle. So, gagamitin na po natin yung pattern. And, pasi po doon sa, ano, sa coordinates ng center, ang coordinates po ng center is h, k. So, yung, ano po, yung coordinates po ng circle is 2, negative 4. So, why is it 2, negative 4? you're going to use the opposite sign of this one. So since negative 2, it will become positive 2 for your x. And for your y coordinate, since positive 4, it will become negative 4. And your radius is 5. Why is it 5? You're going to get the square root of 25. So that's for example number 